President Trump tearing into the governor of Puerto Rico as hundreds of thousands take to the street in what many are calling the biggest protests ever seen on the U.S. territory. Residents are trying to drive out Governor Ricardo Roselio uh, after leaks on online of chats and ongoing charges of corruption. Fox News' Brian Yannis is live in San Juan with the latest. Brian. Hey, Charles. Well, the rain has come down, but today was a historic day for Puerto Ricans. This was the 10th straight day of protest, calling for Governor Ricardo Rosselló to resign. Behind me is the stage and people that are still out here. But if you look at this video, this is what it looked like earlier today. Hundreds of thousands of people is the estimate on the Las Americas Expressway Highway, the, the largest artery here on the island in which they were protesting, calling him to resign. Ricardo Rosselló yesterday said that he's, well, he's not going to seek reelection. And he also said that he's going to resign as president of his party, but he did not resign last night, which added fuel to the fire today. Just moments ago, about a couple hours ago, President Trump spoke on this topic, and this is what he had to say about the governor here on this island. You have incompetent, totally grossly incompetent leadership at the top of Puerto Rico. The people of Puerto Rico are great, and the people of Puerto Rico like me, and they should because nobody's given them what I give them, but the leadership is corrupt and incompetent. So the issue here is that just about 10 days ago, a giant group text message, about 900 pages long, came out showing Rosselló talking to his top aides. They made misogynistic, homophobic comments, and they were mocking Hurricane Maria victims. Well, that really validated what a lot of people thought. And now people really want Rosselló to leave, partly because they know that he's got no power here, and he can't work with President Trump and the White House to make sure that he can get more funds and recover from the hurricane and get the help that they truly need. We spoke to some Puerto Ricans uh, here on the ground. Take a listen. This is not just about a political party, and that's why I am here today. I wasn't going to come, but when I heard that message, I said, no, Janice Soto Rivera is coming with her family. It was like an insult. We knew that. It was an insult of our intelligence. You know, we didn't, we didn't he need to hear that. We need to hear, I am out. That's it. Protesters clearly upset that yesterday's message on his Facebook Live from the governor, he chose not to resign and is sticking to his guns. People very unhappy, and they say it could get worse. Charles? Yeah, Brian, uh, great stuff. I appreciate it, and I think it will get worse. Thank you very much.